Hey YouTube, Tacoma Comics coming here with my friend Kevin Smith. <laughs> Just kidding. I get to meet Kevin at uh, Destiny City Comics uh, about a week ago. That was pretty awesome. So let's start that off. He's sitting out here because he's going to be in my next haul video. Uh, which I haven't made my next haul video yet because I don't have enough stuff. So this video is for Silver Age Dave 100-200 subscriber contest. Silver Age Dave is an awesome guy with some really great videos. Go sub him up and check him out if you haven't already. Guy's got not just great comics, but he's he's got philosophy and introspection. That's the kind of stuff I like when I'm watching videos. See what people are really thinking and what they have to say. So uh, great guy. He's got a little contest, 18 and over and all the usual stuff. So uh, I fit that by about three times. Um, and I'm ready to go show uh, my comic collection, how I store it, how I file it, and... Uh, little bit about what my uh, comic collection is so this is the third bedroom luckily my boys uh, still young enough to sleep together in the second bedroom because once they one of them gets old and ornery and wants to come out here as a young teenager uh, I'm gonna have to give the space up I guess so on the right hand side and all those groups of threes I got most of my comic books just just alphabetized um, in boxes you know, starting in that far right corner, that's probably four kids walking to a bank and just let numbered comics and then starting A's and B's. And then you can see Black Science peeking out right over there. And then it just keeps going. So, you know, I got all these short boxes. I don't like long boxes. They're too unwieldy, I think. I like short boxes, but I hate when you ask for a short box and you get a shorter than short box. It doesn't fit your other size boxes. That drives me crazy. Um, so I put those boxes for like special projects. So like that box right there is my second box of all Star Wars comics. There's that's not alphabetized. It's not in order with the rest of these. So I got a few pulled out there like that. Um, one of the things that Dave was asking about is, what do you do when you come up to like Avengers and you get Avengers versus X Men? Do you put that under Avengers? Do you put that under X Men? What do you do? And I go with the main title. Like, I don't have any splits like that. But if you look over here, um, this is my W box. Right? Or it's not W. It just starts with uh, Wraith, obviously. Wonder Woman, Wolverine, or somewhere else. And you got this. Um, this is pretty cool. This was a Emerald City Comic Con 2017 exclusive for the Boom Studios WWE comic. Uh, Scott Snyder's Witches are in here. And then right after that, right, Amazing Adventures is not under A. It's under X for X-Men because this run, this is the second volume, I think, um, reprinting old X-Men stories. It's just, you know, it's here. It's uh, under X. It fits right in with X-Men Grand Design. It actually fits in really well with X-Men Grand Design. If you haven't read this yet by Ed Piscor and you're an X-Men fan or you've heard about the X-Men, you want to figure out what they're all about, this is the way to go, man. This is an awesome comic. I got number two half uh, finished on my bedside table. Right, They rebooted it with uh, Chris Claremont in like 1992 or something um, after he was off the original run. And uh, he also did an X-Force. There's X-Force 1. Um, so I keep all these X titles together in here. Um, now look, X-Factors, X-23. All new X Men. You know, I don't have like full runs of these. Just got covers that were amazing, and that cover is amazing. Another thing I should talk about is I do um, double bag my comics. Right, I do that for spine roll. I think uh, if you've got a whole box full of comics and they're only in one side, you end up getting them leaning, right? and you end up kind of increasing that spine roll thing. So. You know, I, I, I double bag. If somebody is dead set against that, please tell me why. I'm, I'm open to hearing things, but almost everything I have is like that. And then after X, I got a full Why the Last Man. I'm missing issues one and two and like one or other two issues in here. I do have the final issue, Young Avengers, and then right at the back, some zombie versus robot action. So that's my uh, W, X, Y, and Z, with the exception of... There's things that I really love to collect that I either got a lot of or they're just my favorites. Those do get a separate box. And uh, sorry, I'm, I'm a little anal about I don't tape, I just fold. And so sometimes the flaps come up, but uh, I hate tape. I hate what can happen with tape. I ruined Sex Criminals number one with tape. Um, in a really unfortunate place on that cover, too. Uh, 
you've seen the cover, you might be able to guess what I'm talking about. But anyway, I got another box here, and this is kind of a tight full box. Um, but this is my Uncanny Run. Uh, I got a few between 100 and 150. I've got like 10 issues. But once you hit 150, I've got from 150 to 278 somewhere back here. All I'm missing between 150 and 278 is 279, which was the last Claremont one, and then the three biggies. 221, first Mr. Sinister, 244, first Jubilee, and I'll bet you can guess what that one is. That's 266, first Gambit. And I'm going to get all those uh, real soon. Claremont's going to be at Emerald City Comic Con this year, so I want to take some biggies for him to sign. Uh, I'll at least have one of those three by then in a month and a half from now, if not more than one. But those are like, once I get those, I complete my X-Men run. A run that I used to have when I was a kid, because that's what I collected to start with. That was what got me into comics. That was it. Sold them all after college, uh, and now I'm getting them again, because uh, I love them. So yeah, I've got a few boxes like that, you know, over here. I've got one of my two Star Wars boxes, like I said. Got Poe in there, Phasma, Darth Maul, um, and then the John Tyler uh, action figure variants for Star Wars, the original Marvel Star Wars run, got some odd ones of those, and then The Star Wars, which was a comic that took Lucas's original script before it got changed at all, and uh, did that. And then over here, we got Miss Marvel, got a whole bunch of comics that she appeared in, early appearances, Moon Girl and Amazing Spider-Man. I've got um, the current run. There's a cosplay cover. The other side of that, I don't know why this cover doesn't get more love. Okay. Lauren Hill, Miseducation of Lauren Hill, Education of Kamala Khan. I love that. So we got issue one signed by G. Willow Wilson. There's um, her action figure number one. I don't know what's on the other side of that. More number one. So this is the complete current run up to, I think they just came out with issue 27 or something. Some variants, generations, generations variants. First appearance in animated form. Uh, first appearance cameos of Kamala Khan. Third appearance, second appearance in the uniform. Third appearance overall. I'm actually getting a better copy of this. This has got some dirt marks on it. Um, this is now the first run G. Willow Wilson did, volume three. So there's the second print. There's the third print. I don't have the third sketch. I don't have the fourth. There's the fifth. There's the sixth. There's the seventh. And I missed something. Oh, there is no fifth. That was sixth, seventh, and true believers, believe it or not. And then there's a complete run of her first run. And then there's a second complete run. And with the exception of number one, I've got about, well, I've got about half of a third complete run. So I'm almost done with uh, what I'm really going for there is every single comic in uh volume three including variants and i'm about four comics away from there and i probably won't get the uh javier molina one was it javier molina i think so it was a a print variant for uh number two and it's going for like three four hundred dollars and it's just a little ridiculous you know and then let's see sorry on the bed here i got some unsorted comic comics that haven't gone away yet uh so you get the general gist just that is how i sort my comics uh, the last thing that Dave wanted me to do was to shout out a new YouTuber for his contest. So I'm going to shout out uh, Fabian Goins. He's a new YouTuber I uh, subbed up the other day. He's got some great comic haul videos out there and a uh, good guy to watch and give him some love from the YouTube community. So please go ahead and do that. Hope you like this, Dave. I hope I win. If not, it was fun doing anyway. It's always fun to look at my comics and talk about them. And uh, this is Tacoma Comics saying, have a good day, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe.